Hey, what is going on everybody? Happy Friday to you. And thank you for joining us tonight for Fan Mail Friday Live Edition. First time ever. I'm sure it'll be easier to do it live tonight. We got a lot of packages and the fan mail videos always seem to take forever to edit and everything else and upload. It usually takes me like two or three hours for one video most of the time. So doing live videos, easy, uh, straight upload to YouTube afterwards. So Thank you for tuning in tonight with us. We have a trove of packages from a bunch of different awesome subscribers. There's a few in front of us and then also some other ones that wouldn't fit on the screen. We have 10 packages in total, so it's our record for Fan Mail Friday. So I really appreciate the support from all you guys. You guys are awesome. But I guess without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in to the first package. Right off the bat here, this is something that wasn't sent by a subscriber, but I've received this in the mail today. This is an eBay purchase as of a couple days ago. Let me fix this so you guys can all see it. Joe Manson says record week. Definitely is. Welcome to the stream, Chad, Dan, everybody else. Thanks for joining us. Halo Man 100. First package, eBay purchase. Pretty stoked about this. This is a best offer the guy accepted. Hey, Hunter. Kevin, my girlfriend's here, Brittany. Welcome all to the stream and thank you for joining us tonight. Really appreciate it. But first one, pretty stoked about this. I'm sure if you guys have watched my past videos, uh, you know what a huge fan I am of the Coffs and Crook toy line. I have all Series 1, I have one of Series 2, and after today I now have two of Series 2. It's the Coffs and Crooks Inferno. Um, this guy's pretty rare, you don't really ever see him too often. Got this for 48 bucks shipped. It was a best offer. I think the guy really originally wanted like 60, but uh, he sold in the past recently for like 100 bucks, and really sick too because he has the original Child World Children's Palace sticker on it, which is a huge bonus. So I never had any of Series Two whenever I was a kid. Um, so I'm, I mainly wanted to collect the the first series that I had, but then I was like, I love these toys so much. I had to go ahead and buy the entire toy line. Hey Cody. Chad Hawkins says that is awesome. Thanks so much, man. I really love this toy line. Um, here's all of them right here. So Inferno is now added to my collection. For those of you guys that have not seen um, my collection, here is a little glimpse of it here um, from what you can see. So that's all a Series 1 up there, and then I have an insert on the end, and then also a Lone 1 for Series 2. So hoping to complete the entire toy line. And these just keep going up up in value, up in price on eBay, so it sucks. When I started buying them, they're like between 20 and 75 a piece. Now they're, a lot of them are going for like 150 or 200 a piece, which is ridiculous. But gotta love the Children's Palace sticker on there. It was like my favorite store when I was a kid between that and Hills. Um, Casey Lewis says, how many more do I need? Um, I think I need 10 more now for Series 2, I believe. I did count them out before in the past, and uh, I forget. I almost got the checkpoint, the same guy had the checkpoint, but he wasn't willing to uh, come down in price on a little bit. It was like the card had uh, some tear on the back of it, which I wasn't really that cool with. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I need ten more for Series 2, and I'll have them all. So pretty stoked about that. If you guys see them, let me know. Uh, definitely looking to buy these. If they're in decent shape this one's in like pristine condition so 48 bucks i was pretty stoked about that just came today and um start getting to the actual fan mail here hey vintage composer thank you for joining us to try to be careful about showing dresses on here i'm so used to doing these uh these videos standard hey chris weaver welcome to the stream this next one is a small envelope here i'll do this one on right away i can't quite make out the name on there it just looks like it says Place P L A I C E or something along those lines, but uh, we'll open this one up next. Not familiar with the name. And here's a five dollar super chat from Jonathan H that says, Happy Friday, nice haul, John. We'll hopefully have something for you next week. Thank you so much, Jonathan H. I really appreciate that. Please make sure that you are subbed to him. Um, he does a lot of videos, a lot of baseball car videos, things of that nature. Um, definitely click on that super chat and check his channel out. Thank you again, Jonathan. I really appreciate that. I'll keep an eye out for the, uh, the package from you. Eric is also going live tonight too at 8.30, so I figured I'd go on here at 7.30, and um, we can all split ways around 8.30 and uh, check out his stream, Fan Mail Friday. Hey, Darren Comfort, welcome to the stream. 
and this is pretty awesome. I see Ames right off the bat here. It's a Dale Murphy card, and <laughs> this is sick. Short and to the point. It says, John, you seem to like Ames, and it looks like it's from Sean. So very, very cool. Thanks a lot for that, uh, Sean. I really appreciate that. I love Ames. I was a huge Hills fan, and then uh, Ames eventually bought out Hills in uh, 97, I believe. So went to Ames after that. I remember buying cards there all the time whenever, whenever I was younger. Appreciate that uh, fan mail. Really awesome of you. Don't have any of these Ames cards, and of course, Dale Murphy is a good player to have. So put that on my PC. Thank you again, Sean. And the next one we're going to do is going to be coming from Jeffrey Drew, I believe. Tops.com. I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Danny and Gray's welcome to the stream. He says, have you seen the Ghostbusters Funko Pops? Yeah, I actually have seen those. Um, uh, a subscriber by the name of Rusty sent me the Library Ghost, which is pretty sweet. Hey, Crosby, welcome to the stream. So this next one is from Jeffrey Drew. You guys might recognize these. He told me he's going to send these like a week or two ago via email. And this was sent straight from Tops. And these are more Charlie cards, but these are actually the corrected version. Uh, if you guys didn't see the last one, there's actually a, an error on the front of that, which he said he sent to us purposely um, because he knows I like error cards, which I do. These cards are really awesome. Thanks so much, Jeffrey. Do I really appreciate that. Charlie the dog. And um, all the errors have been corrected. Scouted number one overall by Jeff Drew. Not sure if Jeff Drew is in here or not, but... This is actually Brittany's dog, my girlfriend. Uh, he's a mini uh, dachshund. And he is a rascal. Picture him with a big dip of grass in. But these are the corrected versions. So if you guys would like one of these, let me know. And uh, I'll send one out to you. I sent some of the air cards out to people. They seem to like them. I know somebody said that uh, their mother put uh, one in a one-touch case, <laughs> which is pretty awesome. Hey, Vogs 18 welcome to the stream. Chad Hopkins, still waiting for your Charlie Rookie card. I guess I didn't get one out to you, huh? I'll have a package going out to you real soon, and I will definitely make sure I include one in there, Chad. Thank you again, Jeffrey. Really cool. I actually have something I'm going to be sending you out here soon, so stay tuned for that. Keep your eyes open. Really awesome. Charlie the dog. I'm sure my girlfriend loves that. Dom G says, those cards are a quality idea. Quite cute. Yeah, it was definitely was really cool of them. Hey, Jason. Brittany says, huge thanks to Jeff. The next one we're going to open up here, another um, bubble mailer, is actually from Mike Durr. Not sure if Mike Durr is in here or not, but uh, you guys may remember Mike Durr sent us a nice package a few weeks back with some vintage cards, some other things as well, and a uh, Stan Musial 68 Tops card, which was awesome. I was really stoked about that and super surprised they did that. Really appreciated that package, Mike. And another $5 super chat from James Robinson. It says, hey, man, thanks for the vids. Wanted you all to know... I have 97 vintage cards on eBay ending Saturday through Monday. Hall of Famers rookie cards wanted to share. His eBay is Jesus091992. So Jesus091992. Definitely go and check out his eBay store there. And uh, you're going to want to make sure you get in on that. That sounds pretty awesome. I'll check it out myself too. Hall of Famers and rookies. And it's a weekend sale. So definitely scoop that out. Um, and another $5 Super Chat from James Robinson. So back-to-back -back Super Chats with the same message to check out his eBay uh, sale going on this weekend. Thank you so much, James Robinson. Please go and click on him, give him a sub, and definitely make sure you check out that uh, that eBay sale. And I'll do the same once the stream's over. It sounds really interesting. Hall of Famers and Rookie Cards. All about both of those here in this channel. So we'll be sure and do that. And... Due to the $15 in Super Chats, we're going to do a giveaway now. I know you guys love giveaways. Thank you guys very much for the Super Chats. Really appreciate those. They're not necessary, but we do appreciate them. And we're going to do a giveaway via Kahoot for you guys. Thank you all again for being here with us. Let's get logged in here. Hopefully you guys are ready on your PC or on your phone or whatever. Got some new questions for you, and they are all different quizzes, so they're not all lumped together like the last problem we had. Hey, W. Vogs, you actually have to have, um, you can have the Kahoot app, or you can go on your computer, and you have to punch in the PIN number. Uh, I'll, let, I'll let you guys get ready here for a second. Let me turn this 
annoying audio down. While you have your PC up too, definitely pull up James Robinson's eBay store and check out that sale. See what uh, see what's going on on there. Sounds pretty. Intri I'm really intrigued by that. So the pin for this is three eight two zero six four. We have a few people in here right now. Jason Wento says, "Would you take some old school pogs?" Uh, yeah, I would. I still have my original one somewhere. I don't really collect pogs, but um, yeah, I mean, I, I like things of the past in general in nature. So if I don't keep them, I'll forward them on to somebody else who would appreciate them. That's what I do with really anything. Ten people in here. Hey, sport card collector. W. Vogs, I know, wanted to jump in here as well. And Donald Trump took some time off of office to uh, join us here on Kahoot. What we're going to give away first, I always like this card a lot. I'm sure you guys probably do too remember it. 96 tops. This is Vladdy Guerrero, um, his first tops card. Andrew Jones' first tops card. And two other guys, which really aren't too notable. But Vladdy Guerrero and Andrew Jones, 96 tops. I always like that card a lot, so we're going to give that one away for this first one. And here's another super chat from Jonathan H. That says, just to confirm, who do you have from Series 2, Cops and Crooks? Uh, the only ones that I have, Jonathan, are I just got Inferno and then I have Nightmare and that's it. So looking for the rest, I know there was, um, uh, which one was on eBay right now? Checkpoint's on there right now for like, I think 38 bucks plus shipping. I tried to get it for 30 bucks plus shipping and the guy like wasn't having it. And uh, there's like a little bit of sticker tear on the back of the car, which I like couldn't live with. So um, had to let it go and someone bid on it. I was like, I can't give you more than 30 bucks for those. I used to see them at Comic-Cons a lot back when I first started collecting, and they were going for like 20 bucks, 25 bucks for a lot of them. Now they're over 100. It's crazy. Wow, that'd be awesome, Jonathan. That would be sick. Yeah, I put a, I put them in Zolo cases, and then I hang them on my wall. So uh, that would be freaking awesome, man. Cuckoo, I'd like never come across him. Some of them get up there in price in Series 2. Wish I would have bought them all whenever... Uh, I first started collecting because they were all like series two was so cheap compared to how it is now series one was like higher priced now series one is triple what it was when i started collecting and series two is double it's pretty crazy yeah jonathan h let me know man i will uh if you can get me some stuff on the card um i'll pay you for it i have no problem paying you for it just let me know before you buy because um if you get something there and it's like a hundred bucks <laughs> i don't want to be a hundred bucks for something that's like i would really normally pay like you know, 44. So, but I really appreciate you looking out for me. Please let me know, man. James Robinson says, appreciate you all just trying to raise some money for my parents' 60th birthday. Well, congratulations to your parents there. Um, really hope that uh, they have a great time and appreciate your super chats. Hopefully everyone goes on to that eBay sale and checks it out there. W. Boggs is now in here. Chris Weaver says, very nice of you, James Robinson. Happy birthday to them. Definitely happy birthday to your parents. And Dan says, Jonathan, are you at Heroes Con? Um, no, I haven't been any cons in a while. I, I haven't been really traveling too much. I go to Steel City every time they come through every four months, but uh, I haven't been traveling for any. I need to actually start doing that. So we have 18 people in here now. Um, I hate A-Rod is in here. It's a new one I haven't seen yet. We're going to go ahead and start. Number one for Andrew Jones and Vladdy Guerrero. First Topps card. And it's a toy-related question. I do toys and baseball cards and pop culture. What company released the Food Fighters toy line in the late 1980s? Is it Kenner, Hasbro, Mattel, or Galoob? Love Food Fighters. I actually have the whole toy line next to me on the wall. Kenner, Hasbro, Mattel, or Galoob? And the right answer was Mattel. And the winner is Danny and Gray. Danny and Gray, you got it right. KCL, you came in second. And Chippers Jones came in third. Thank you very much for playing. And this card is going to you, Danny and Gray. Send me an email. My email is in all the descriptions for every video. The Passes of the Life Toys. Um, periods in between. And here's a five dollar super chat from Donald Blomdahl that says one seventy eight going for two fifty for my next goal. I have cards for you and be mailed out for your next Friday's fan mail Friday. Thank you so much, Donald Blomdahl. I really appreciate that. Please make sure you're subscribed to him if you are not. He does a ton of card videos. Um 
constantly live streaming, constantly putting content out there for all of you. Please check him out if you're not subscribed already. And let's get him to 250. And I will definitely keep an eye out for that package. I really appreciate that super chat, Donald, Donald Blondahl. Very, very nice of you. So congrats, Danny and Gray. Push us off to the side there. Thank you for all the super chats, you guys. And thank you for joining us tonight. Really appreciate that. Um, so back to what we were doing. Sport Card Collector says, Donald has got a great channel. He definitely does. And James Robinson just subscribed to you, Donald Blomdahl. So that's awesome. The next up, like I said, we were doing before, we got uh, hung up on the uh, giveaway there. Um, Mike Durr, like I said, sent us an awesome package before. And we have another one from him here. Carefully tear into this. Thank you, Danny, for playing, man. Good answer. It was Mattel. And we got some uh, very nicely packaged things in here. And then uh, there is a note. Let's check it out off camera real quick. No address. Paul says, team back in 94 Flair. <laughs> I hope I never see that card again. Dear John, thought I'd send you the results of some vintage whack pack breaks I bought into last month. So enjoy and feel free to pass any of these minty fresh cards to your great fans. I love a Kernish pack in return, just something I can open with my nephew and get him hooked. Always a devoted, devoted fan, Mike Durr. Well, thank you very much, Mike Durr. I can definitely hook you up with a current pack. I don't have any on me because I don't really ever buy new packs. But I'll be going out all weekend, uh, flea markets and everything else. I'll be sure and pick you up something. Uh, for you and your nephew to rip open and get him hooked. Definitely a very awesome hobby to get somebody into early on. Um, what should we start out with here? I guess we'll start out with this one. Mike Durr definitely uses great precaution when shipping things. James Robinson says, what flumarks are you going to this weekend? Uh, not entirely sure. Eric and I went to Rogers today. It was awesome. I actually found a lot of stuff there, which uh stoked to do the weekend recap with you guys. Um, looks like we have a really old card right here. Really old card. We'll save that for last. Um, Eric and I went to Rogers. I took the day off work, and he found a lot of stuff. We didn't find a whole lot of baseball cards out there, but I found a lot of awesome toys and novelty stuff, which is something I usually uh, don't find a lot of at Rogers. But today, it was freaking awesome so stoked to show you guys everything i picked up uh, for the weekend recap not sure if it will be live or not this weekend i usually only do the live re weekend recap when i get a bunch of packs just to rip open otherwise i'll just make it standard and chad says hi john love your videos thank you so much chad i appreciate you tuning in and your support and here is the um first package here from mike durr and eric chavez or eric chavez upper deck update and joel peralta some newer cards here, ones that I really haven't seen at all. Here's a numbered card, Brian Burr's. Um, 430 out of 450. That's a nice one. Always enjoy getting numbered cards. And it's a 2005 for deck card. And here's a Chris Adon, Future Reflection for the Devil Rays. Um, also from the early 2000s, I believe. Another nice one there. I like that one a lot. And a Giovanni Soto. So another nice one there from Upper Deck. Have not seen any of these before. Upper Deck Sweet Spot here like those ones a lot. Thank you very much for those, Mike Durr. Not sure if you're in here or not, but I will definitely um, get a pack out to you here soon for you and your nephew. We'll save this one for last, like I said. Hey, 357 three, MAGA, welcome to the stream. And W Vogue says, have you watched my videos lately? I haven't really tuned into any of them recently. I think the last video I watched of yours was about a week or two ago. Haven't uh, really watched too many YouTube videos lately. Been super busy. Um, getting crushed at work and everything else. I definitely have some plans to make some uh, newer videos. I actually just got a new laptop today so I can finally stop using the junk one that I have had for the last five years. Um, pretty stoked about it because it's a lot better than the one I had before. So anybody that donated money to me in the past or anything else, Patreon, I thank you very much. Your support has definitely helped me buy a new computer, which I will um, in turn and try to make better quality videos. So hopefully looking forward to more skits and all kinds of other stuff that uh, I can think of coming your way here soon. I enjoyed doing that. So um, 
another stack of cards here from Mike Durr, and this is pretty awesome. 1979 OPG uh, pack with Tom Seaver on it. I don't think I've ever seen OPG cards from the 70s. And Larry Heil. Really awesome, man. Not sure where you found these at, but uh, a Tom Seaver OPG card. These are really cool, man. Not sure if these are from an, uh, an online auction, but have never seen these. Really awesome stuff. And it looks like we have 1980 Tops Cello. Randy Steen and Rick Bazzetti. Huh. Those are also really cool, too. Love getting the older cards. And here's an 80 Tops. Again, Mike Sadak and Ted Martinez. Look at that crazy uh, hairdo there. <laughs> crazy hairdo, unibrow, the big handlebar mustache. That's a pretty wild looking card. 1980 Tops. Don't have too many of these. These are really cool. Love the older, uh, older 80s cards, early 80s. George Medic. Also an 81 uh, Tops card here. Not an OPG, but a regular 81 Tops. Another nice older Tops card. And Sparky Lyle, 82 Tops. Really cool. All from Mike Durr. And another OPG card, 84. Frank Tanana and Terry Forster. OPG. Never liked OPG when I was younger, but I definitely have a nice new appreciation for them now that I'm older. Especially if the older cards, like the 90s OPG, I could care less about but um like 90 tops frank thomas opg is one i like to get my hands on and uh also some other rookie cards just because i collect rookies so i don't have any opg rookies i don't think um maybe may or mira is 92 tops that's it a sport card collector says i'm giving away some all-star tickets from 2003 and program from all-star games just post for my 100 sub today that is awesome definitely go and check out sport card collector and his giveaway gord kluzik Hockey player here for the Bruins. Can't say I've ever heard of him, but it's an older card. Also from, actually from the late 80s. I think this is an 86, 87 card. Really nice there. And another one here. Maybe we can pass these on to you guys if you're hockey fans. Gary Cheevers. And he's a goalie for the Bruins. This is actually an older one. Looks like 76, 77 tops. Another cool one there. And nice. Here's one with a gum still stuck to it. And it looks like some kind of printing error card here. That's kind of cool. I like that. Kevin says Gore was number one pick. That's pretty awesome. Gord Kluzik was number one pick for the Bruins. Still has a gum stuck to it um, from 1981. So that's pretty neat. I like that printing error. I should keep that in my PC. Enjoy stuff like that. And uh, somebody else for the Jets, which is another printing error, blocked out. I guess it's just a Jets team card from like 8081, I believe. Joseph C. says, eat the gum. Are you trying to kill me, Joseph C.? That gum looks pretty nasty. What is, uh, what's this one? Some sort of pull-out poster. This is kind of cool. Must have came in uh, different packs. The whole Rangers team, 79-80 season. It's pretty awesome. Sport Car Collector says, I'm giving... You a program from 1990 All-Star Game at Wrigley for you, John. I got one for you and your bro, too. Awesome, man. Thank you very much. I'll definitely look forward to those. 1990 All-Star Game. That will be sick to look through. I'll keep an eye out for that. Thank you so much, Sport Car Collector. Please sub to him if you have not yet. Um, next one, we have a basketball card here. John Mangold for the Bulls. And this is from 79... 78-79, I believe. John Mangold. Can't say I've heard of him, but maybe you guys... Uh, are familiar with him. Used to have a decent amount of basketball cards, but I uh, sold them all in one lot on eBay. So a lot of cool cards here from Mike Durr. And we have one more left. And here's a $10 super chat from Cody Martin. It says, hey, John, just thought I'd send some love and support. I appreciate your and your brother's channel for getting me into card collecting. Also, your girlfriend is a cute doggo. Thank you so much, Cody. It's awesome to hear that you are into card collecting. It's a great hobby. And thank you so much for the $10 super chat. Not sure if you have a channel or not, but please check him out and uh, give him a sub. I'll give you a sub after the video ends. And due to the, due to the, to the um, Super Chat, we will do another giveaway here. And the next car we'll give away. Take a brief break here from uh, Mike Durr's 1925 card that I see that I'm anxious to take a look at. We'll give away a 92 Bowman card. This is a rookie card. 
that a lot of you guys probably don't have. Um, love 92 Bowman. Always enjoyed this set. Uh, legendary set. Derek Lowe. He was the eighth round draft pick for the Mariners in 91. Um, so we'll give this one away to any of you guys that correctly answer the, the uh, giveaway. Kahoot question. Paul says that shirt, though. <laughs> yeah, that shirt screams 90s, man. 92 Bowman, Derek Lowe, rookie. Cody Martin says, not a problem. Also, I have a channel, but don't upload, so subs aren't necessary. Okay. Well, if you ever decide to start creating content, making videos of your card collecting feats, let me know, man. And uh, we'll get you some subs. Let's see what we have for the next question here. Let me fix this crappy thing. Sport Card Collector said, just sub to you, Cody Martin. Awesome. Kevin says they should redo those style rookie cards. And that whole set is so weird and obscure. I love it. I wish it wasn't like 400 bucks for a box. I'd definitely buy a lot more of them. Donald Blomdahl says, John, my, my Oddball Wednesday video this week, I opened two 1992 Topps Kids Packs, which had sticks of gum opened and chewed. Or he chewed them for two hours. They are pretty good. That's awesome, Donald. That's actually when I did that video of trying to eat 40 pieces of gum in a row that was those were tops kids uh gum it kind of tastes like big red it's they're very well preserved because they actually kept it in um they put those in wrappers on like all the other tops cards and everything else that just got mold and succumbed to moisture and everything else yeah they're good they're definitely good tops kids gum is the way to go if you're looking to live life on the edge and eat some old gum you definitely want to start with those all right, so the next giveaway quiz here. Get ready, guys. This is for Derek Lowe in that awesome shirt. And the pin is 630600. Jonathan H. says, and you claimed you aren't a gum chewer in your series video. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, man. I haven't chewed any actual gum, I guess, then. Baseball card gum. Like you said, it is not really gum. It's just, just one stick of chemicals. Ben Black says, I'm taking a trip to Pennsylvania this summer. Would you suggest any card shops that lean toward the older stuff? Um, yeah, there's definitely a few card shops you can check out. Depends on what part of PA you're coming to. PA is pretty big and spread out. If you're near Altoona, definitely check out Juniata Cards. They, uh... Steve has a lot of awesome older cards, and he'll definitely give you some good deals. And Also, like I said before, Victor at Pittsburgh Stellar Collectibles in Uniontown. He's got a decent amount of older stuff, too, especially vintage and whatnot, and he'll, he'll cut you deals. Really cool dude. Donald Blum also they did this right. They definitely did. My brother's here now. He says, hey, everyone. We got 24 people in the Kahoot giveaway here. Give it another few seconds, and we will give away that awesome shirted Derek Lowe rookie card. You're not going to want to pass on this one. All right, 23 players in here. We're going to go ahead and get started. 24, 23, 24 again. And we're getting started. Next quiz here. All right. Let's see if you guys can get this one. This could be a little more difficult than the other ones. According to Beckett, what is the most valuable rookie card in 1996 Bowman set? According to Beckett, Jose Guillen, AJ Przinsky, Levon Hernandez, or Raul Ibanez. Dan Schultz says, I have that shirt. <laughs> and Joseph C. would rather win this shirt. <laughs> Collector Hawks says, Wish I could play with him at work. Hey, John Higgins. So the correct answer was Raul Ibanez. And who got that one? Justin's got it. And John Hudek somehow found his way in here again. But Justin, or Justin S., John Hudek, and Go Brewers, the top three there. And Moonlight Graham came in, which is awesome. We might have a Field of Dreams question for you coming up here tonight if we get to that point. W. Vox is his YouTube closed out. But congratulations, Justin. Appreciate you uh, participating. The Derek Lowe is coming to you. Just send me an email with uh, your info, and I'll get that out to you on Monday. Put this off to the side here and back to the fan mail. 
Lidsman says I was pressing that one, it would not take. I wonder what happened. So the very last card here from Mike Durr, after all cool cards he sent us, 1925 Xena Pacific Coast League, Jake Flowers, Oakland Oaks. This is awesome, man. 1925. Um, probably it's the second oldest card that I have, I want to say. I found a 1909 card for 50 cents at a flea market recently. Um, I don't even know if it's a baseball card. It's some tobacco card. I don't think it's baseball related even. But this is freaking awesome, man. Um, thank you very much for this. 1925 Xena Pacific card. Really, really like that. Um, really cool. Thank you so much, Mike. I'll definitely uh, be on the lookout to get you a newer pack for you and your nephew to rip open. Uh, let's see what we have next here. Um, we have a few more boxes in the old Ames basket. The next one we're going to do is come from Rob Cash, a.k.a. Rob Adamson, where you may have seen him in the streams before. And um, he wins... He went to a decent amount of quizzes on this channel, so we'll cover that up. Hey, Dishro, aka John, welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining us. The first live fan mail video on this channel. So excited to do it live and not have to spend three hours in the upload of my old laptop, so I can't wait to use a new one and uh, watch it upload in like probably 10 minutes, which would be sick find the one edge of this it should be good now so Rob Cash package here and we have a note right off the bat here looks like there's a bunch of singles in there let's check out and make sure that there is no address and <laughs> I like what I see on here the PS hey John I'm a big fan of your channel especially your weekend recaps like you I mostly collect baseball rookie cards of players in the past I sent you some cards that you can either add to your PC or use for fan giveaways also, I included some small parts from Vintage Toys. Awesome. I'm not sure exactly what they are from, but maybe you do. Thanks for getting me back into the baseball card hobby and keep up with the great content. And Rob Cash. And it says, P.S. Please bring the mailman back. <laughs> well, thank you so much for the note, Rob. I appreciate your support. And the mailman may be coming back now. I think uh, you guys might actually see him next Friday. Let's check out and see what uh, Rob Cash sent. I want to say, Rob Cash, I want to say you won a recent uh, giveaway, too. I never got an email from you. I think you may have won a Barry Bonds 87 Tops rookie. Um, I'll double check on that, but please let me know. Casey Lewis's mailman was funny. And Greg Swindell, the omen lives. <laughs> John Cahoot says, or Cahout says, long live the mailman. <laughs> Greg Swindell fun pack here. Oh, geez, 91 Tops. Uh, what is this, 94 score, 90 Don Russ, MVP, Swindell, and then 93 score, Swindell. <laughs> Swindell collection. For all you Swindell fans that stuck with us for the 92 Don Russ break, we kept pulling freaking Greg Swindell Diamond Kings cards out of there instead of all the other good ones. Justin, my email is in uh, every single video description. It's the Passes of Live Toys. Um, and it's, there's periods in between the words. Just check out like the last most recent video. You'll see it in there. So the mailman may be making a comeback here next Friday. It looks like, well, here's all the toys. I see a Krang head in there. These are, look like there are a lot of Turtles pieces. Really cool. Yeah, these are pretty much look to be all TMNT stuff. It's a vintage uh, 88 Splinter, it looks like. Original Splinter figure here. That's awesome. I don't I don't have this one. Definitely, uh, we'll put that on display. I'm looking for loose action figures for my mantle. I have like a, a shelving unit in my living room. That just has it's a bunch of shells built into the wall. I started putting all the loose figures I pick up on that. It's gonna cover it in figures. I picked up a couple more today. Here is the Krang head from the uh, actual walking action figure. I don't actually, uh, yeah, this is from this one, not from the Android Krang, and that one's a little bigger, I believe. And then what else do we have here? It looks like this is all TMNT stuff. I know this definitely is uh, from the Blimp, I believe. Maybe even some G.I. Joe accessories in here as well, it looks like. And looks like a garbage pail um, kid figure there. That's pretty awesome. Can't say I've ever seen that before. You know they made these. Some chick throwing up. 
<laughs> That's pretty cool. I like that. And what else do we have here? Looks like some more pieces. Yeah, these mostly look like they're... There's some G.I. Joe backpacks and whatnot in here and some different vehicles, like a Tommy gun. Yeah, it looks like we have another G.I. or not G.I. Joe, garbage pail uh, kids figure here too. Casey Lewis says they came in candy. Yeah, they kind of look like they would. Never seen these before. Um, pretty awesome. Thanks a lot for those. Really appreciate that, Rob Cash. Don't get toys very often on here, so I love uh, getting stuff like that. I'll put this in my action figure collection on my uh, in my living room. Paul says, didn't your mom make your brother burn his garbage pail kids or cards? Yeah, she definitely did. I don't know if I was around for that though when that happened. I don't think she wanted me to see it, but um, that's how the story goes. I feel like I remember after it happened, but I definitely did not see the carnage when it happened. Don't forget the Swindell. The curse of Swindell, we have some more stuff from Rob Cash. Yeah, I don't think I ever had any Garbage Pail Kids. I'm pretty sure that I was barred from buying those from the get-go. I was thinking I was like three years old and those came out, maybe even two. I can't remember if were, those were 86 or 87. I think they were 86. So Eric was like six years old. Yeah, Eric says that was like 86 or 87. You would have been too young to remember. Yeah, definitely. I remember hearing about it, though. And now those are worth a bunch of money. Not so much if they're like loose. But an unopened wax box of those usually sells for like 80 bucks. Bunch of singles in here from Rob Cash. In top loaders. Rob did a good job protecting these. And we have some autos here. Really nice. And a Gary Sheffield graded card from Topps Victory. Hey, thanks, baseball lover, for joining us. Appreciate that. So this is from Beckett. Um, it's a mint nine. Gary Sheffield tops victory from 2000 upper deck. Um, I don't know why I was saying tops. Um, upper deck victory. Really nice card. I like that a lot. I don't think I have any Beckett graded cards. I have all BCCG and PSA cards. And Distro says the first series worth quite a lot for garbage pail kids. Joseph C says the nuns of my Catholic grade school still have my garbage pits, garbage pail kids cards. Yeah, Eric definitely had a really mean, uh, I don't know if it was like third, fourth grade teacher, who it was. Her name was Mrs. Bulk. I'm sure she's probably, I don't think she's even still with us anymore, so I'll definitely name drop her. Mrs. Bulk. And uh, I'll never forget whenever he told me that she said she's going to staple his lips to the ceiling. And she was like really mean, senile old woman who would constantly make like threats and terrorize um, her students from what it sounded like. I never had her, but he did. And uh, yeah, there's my brother right there. I says, third grade, she said she'd stay with my lips shut. <laughs> like that would not fly at all today. <laughs> that would not fly whatsoever if you did that. She would have been like putting handcuffs and let out of there immediately for saying something like that. I think, I, I think my craziest teacher story as far as them getting in trouble was like, I think it was 10th or 11th grade. One of my, uh, I think it was our, our like American government teacher. His name is Mr. Bailey. I always liked him. He was always a little bit out there, but it was like Halloween after 9 11. So it was 2001. I think I was in 10th grade. And um, he dressed up like Osama bin Laden for Halloween the month after 9 11. And he had like a, uh, a towel on his head, he had like a sticky bun on a necklace around his neck and he was like you get it towel e bun <laughs> yeah he was he was suspended for quite a while after that so a lot of people were really pissed at him for that mr bailey pretty ridiculous teacher story there here's uh the singles cards that uh, rob cast sent so it looks like jason kendall so old bucko there platinum portraits from metal universe never seen these cards before 1997 I used to love Metal Universe, so this is an insert card from uh, Metal. I always want to do a break on Metal, too. I might do that sometime in the future. Boxes are kind of expensive for those. I feel like they're easily over 100 bucks for a box of Metal, no matter what year it is. I think A-Rod might be in the very first series of Metal, 94, his rookie card, which I'd like to do a box of those, but 150 bucks. It's a nice uh, first card there with the Kendall insert. And um, a Ricky Nolasco uh, top certified autograph. 
rookie card here from Bowman, and that's from 2006. Like that one a lot. Nice auto. And Super says, like, I only remember the Marvel Metal cards. See, those might have been 93 or 95. I can't remember, but uh, I used to hate those because you couldn't put them in top loaders. Back in the 90s, there was no such thing as, like, relic top loaders or any of that stuff, the water ones. So you'd sit there and try to jam thicker cards, like, even flare cards, putting those in top loaders back in the 90s, like, really pissed me off. Even though flare cards, you can literally take and throw off a wall and, like, literally don't have any nicks at all whatsoever on them. Eric White says, what is it about Mom's Mind made me throw out all my 1970s baseball card collection? Had a few thousands starting from 1973 to 80 back in the 80s. That really sucks. I feel like that uh, is pretty common with a lot of people. Their moms threw out all their stuff. I know my mom threw out a decent amount of my stuff as well when we moved. She kept a lot of it too, though. And Paul says, my art teacher in high school was suspended when the principal walked in on him showing an X-rated YouTube video. Jeez, I definitely had a homeroom teacher that did the exact same thing. And Brian Bullock says, did you finally get Rogers going to stop and say hi? However, I was covered in donut glaze. Is that, was that you, Brian, that uh, stopped and said hi to us? Wasn't sure. I wanted to stop and ask you what your YouTube name was. Yeah, I found a bunch of good stuff. Um, mostly all toys. I think the only baseball cards I picked up there were I found two rack packs. And I saw an 86 Don Ross one, which is pretty sick. It had Clemens on top. So Clemens' second year card. And then there was a Mark Grace 88 Don Ross rack pack, and Mark Grace is on top. So the guy wanted two bucks a piece for him, but I got him, uh, I got him for a dollar a piece. So that was pretty cool. And Joseph Cease is when I was in school, we had Oregon Trail, not YouTube. Yeah, Oregon Trail was awesome, man. Um, Chad Hermanson minor league card here, and it's autographed too. That's pretty awesome. 1995 Five Sport Autograph Edition. I remember these cards. And then Chipper Jones. These ones are nice. Uh, these are 97 Leaf. I actually pulled a Griffey out of the box that I broke a few months back of these. I want to say I sent them to Chris Weaver. I think so. I think I did at least. But uh, these were numbered too. 2482 out of 2500. So right at the end there. It's pretty awesome. I really like that car a lot. Hall of Famer Chipper Jones. The 94 uh, Fleer Ultra Chipper Jones there. It's kind of sort of coming out of our top loaders a little bit here. 357 Magus says class of 95 here and there's an a-rod uh minor league classic card there. that's pretty nice 94 classic and here's one of those all sport ones a-rod used to have this card when i was younger i'm not sure what happened to it chris weber and drew bledsoe uh classic cards that's another nice one really like that one chris weber says yes sir you did yeah, i thought so i was hoping that i did at least and i like this one a lot uh hot numbers this was uh fleer flare i believe i think so um, from 95. Kyle Ripken. Really liked that card a lot. I think my brother had that when we were younger. Another hot numbers card. Yeah, these were uh, Flair. 95 Flair. Ripken. And also a Bonds. These are awesome insert cards. Really like these a lot. I don't know if I've ever opened a box in 90, 95 Flair before. Might be something we have to do here pretty soon. Another Bonds card. Looks like another insert card. This one's numbered too. 9,557 out of 10,000. So another awesome, nice uh, numbered card here. And this is from 96. So kind of right when numbered cards start coming out other than uh, the Donruss Elite. These are really cool. I like these a lot. So Font says 90s insert mania. Yeah, definitely love my 90s insert cards. These are really sick. It's 2000 Pacific Berry Bonds. Looks like it's an, an insert card as well. Could be wrong though. Number 29. Really cool. Love the Bonds cards. Especially love the inserts from the 90s. And also the very iconic Michael Jordan 94 upper deck rookie card. Love that card. Um, I say we give this one away. If you guys are cool with that tonight. I think I have three of that card right now. So always like that one too. It seems to still be a pretty popular card. And the Mint 9 Sheffield there from Beckett. And then also he sent along some 1988 Panini sticker cards. And these are already open, so we'll take a look at those real quick. Nice Tom Mattingly there. And Fred Manrique and Tommy John Larry Sheets. And part of a puzzle piece, looks like. Haven't seen these in years. W. Voggs says, John, I have Mitch Keller, Kevin Kramer, and Kevin Newman autos. It's pretty awesome, W. Voggs. I'll have to check those out if you just didn't open those on a video recently. Hey, Robert P. Shaq Rat is in the house. Welcome to the stream, man. Thanks for joining us. Thank you all for joining us on this Friday evening. 
So some brave stickers. Franklin Stubbs never really cared for him for some reason. Not sure why. Harold Reynolds. Bob James looking run down. Albert Hall and Mike Young. So I've not seen these in a long time. Really appreciate Rob Cash. Thank you for the awesome cards you sent, man. Really stoked on those. Some great stuff in those packages. Like the toys as well. Love getting the toys. I'll put those on display. And the next one up we have. This is from Joseph Mansman. He was, he was in here. Not sure if he still is or not. But Joe Mansman, he's out in New Jersey. Joe Mansman there. Check out what Joe sent. He's been, I want to say he's been a sub of the channel since the very beginning. So I appreciate your support, Joe. I remember seeing you around when I first started my channel. Joe still is not here. I think. Check out, see what Joe sent. Did a good job wrapping this up. I want to show your address here, so. Oh, I see it inside the sides. <laughs> You're good, Joe. Better all the tape than not enough, you know. Check out the note here. Says, John, I enjoy the toy and car videos. Thank you. Here are some cards I think you will enjoy. If you wish to send some stuff back and collect Mets, Red Sox, and vintage cards. Thank you very much for that note, Joe. I definitely have some stuff I can send you back. I see a Mayor Ramirez, 92 Tops, right off the bat here. And there's something else in here, too. I see some little older retail sets here, which are always a cool thing. Been getting a bunch of those lately, and this is one I definitely know I don't have. A Kmart one uh, from 87, I believe. It's 25 years, so we've got a lot of older stars in here, too. Hank Aaron, Bob Clemente, Kilbrew, Mantle, Maris, Marichelle. Tons of older stars and also newer stars in that era in the 80s, Mattingly and everybody else. Check these out real quick. And I don't know if I was supposed to eat that or not, but I'm not going to. That looks pretty nasty. I guess these came with gum in them. I've never seen uh, these smaller retail subsets with gum in them, but this gum is absolutely filthy. So I'm going to throw that away and avoid getting E. coli. Eat gum, please. <laughs> the font says that was rancid. I do remember these now. I want to say somebody sent me the Bob Clemente out of here not too long. or not. It was Willie Stargell. That's what it was. Willie Stargell. So lots of now Hall of Famers and just stars of the past. Nice Nolan Ryan. Saw a lot of Nolan Ryan cards today, though, um, at this other antique mall I went to. Almost bought them, but it kind of seemed like it was a little steep of a price. I was actually kind of bummed out because the place that I usually go to to get my Desert Shield supplies... Or cards. The guy always sets out Desert Shield cards, like one a week, two a week, whatever it is. He didn't have any out today, so I was real bummed out. It's like, this sucks. Um, I want to get more of those. But really cool there. Thank you for that, Joe Mansman. Really appreciate that. And here we have an autograph. David Dahl. Really nice. And it's a 33 out of 49. Uh, Don Russ Diamond Kings. Or Panini Diamond Kings, I guess, nowadays. Really cool card. David Dahl. Um, dual Patch Relic. And also auto. Really nice. Thank you very much for that, show. Appreciate that. Never seen that car before. And here we have a Hills team set. I think we may have got one of these recently. I think I actually picked these up a week or two ago. Yeah, I, I loved this set when I was a kid. Um, I think we went through this before last time. But this is definitely nostalgic for me. Uh, my set was destroyed. I didn't take care of my cards at all when I was younger. Used to love that card, Van Slyke, though. I always thought that card was weird, Danny Jackson. Like All of, all the pictures you can take for your uh, baseball card, you're just doing that. Stretching. Kind of weird. You don't see stuff like that too often. But I don't think it compares to the Dennis Cook 93 upper deck back of his card, that crazy maniac face he's making. If you've never seen that card, definitely Google it or, or eBay it. Dennis Cook 93 upper deck. And the sinister face that he's making on the back. Thank you very much for those. Joe, those are awesome. Love Hills. One of my favorite stores of all time. Hey, Jeffrey Drew. Welcome to the screen. We opened your package a little bit ago. Thank you very much for the Charlie cards again. I have something I'll be sending you out on Monday. These are a little tight in here, so I'm going to cut this open. Chris Weaver says, awesome 
fan mail you sent this week, Jeff. Definitely was. More Charlie cards. Anyone who wants one, when I send you out whatever it is for giveaways, uh, returns, um, let me know. I'll send one. I'll send you a Charlie card. So Mayor Mirror's 92 Tops rookie card. Always love getting that one. Was always a huge Manny fan when I was younger. Liked that card a lot. And looks like we have some big hurt cards here. A 93 Ultra Thomas. Uh, Jim Tomey. So a nice Hall of Fame pack here. Cal Ripken Jr. Another Thomas 93 Tops. Alex Ochoa. A-Rod. Like that one. Never seen that. Fleer Traditions. Looks like an insert card. 98. So after I uh, stopped collecting. Pretty much a year after I stopped collecting. Another nice Fleer Tradition A-Rod card here. Looks like some sort of parallel. Almost like an electric diamond card type deal. Or part of the base set. 336. Still a really cool card nonetheless. And Sean Green. Gold Leaf Rookies. Definitely remember having that card when I was younger. And it was a pretty hot card. Sean Green had a good career. Another Jim Tomey. And it's one of those... Um, Nice variants there from Fleur Tradition. Like that one. Nice Tony Gwynn. Upper deck card from the late 90s. And here's another Frank Thomas card. Kind of remember these, seeing these too. Uh, um, what year are these? Like 97, 98? Looks like 99. Never seen that before actually. Really nice. Like that a lot. Frank Thomas, 92 Fleer. Always liked that one when I was younger. Stick of dynamite in his bat there. And here's a rookie. Raphael Fercal. Did not have this one. Jason Delero and Travis Dawkins. I think this is 2000 tops or 99 tops. But uh, yeah, it looks like 2000. Didn't have this one, so that's a nice one. Thank you for that one. And Tim Rance Jr., Gary Matthews, and also Gary Maddox. Didn't have that one either for my PC, so thank you for that, Joe. Really awesome Tim Rance Jr. card. And here's Roberto Almar. It's a pretty iconic card. 88 Don Russ Raid rookie, so that's another nice one. Like that one a lot. Always like getting the Almar rookies. Nice Hall of Fame pack here for the most part here, Joe. Really like these. Another Fleur Traditions card of Vladdy Guerrero Sr. And this is also an insert card, 7 to 20. Like that one a lot. Always like Vladdy Guerrero. And a Gary Sheffield Chasing History card. Like these ones a lot too. Never seen um, this particular set though. They made those inserts for a few years. 2013, that's probably why I've never seen them. We pulled a few of those out of the 2002 packs we ripped open a few weeks ago for a weekend recap. We like that one. Gary Sheffield. And then the A-Rod 94 Upper Deck um, alumni card. It's a nice one. Not considered a rookie card, but uh, first year card. Really awesome. Like that one a lot. I want to say Chris Weaver actually sent me this one um, a few weeks back, actually. Really like that card. Thank you so much, Joe, for all those cards. Really awesome stuff. We still have something else left from, for him, too. Um, something hidden in here. I'll get you something sent out, hopefully on Monday. And, whoa, this is really nice, too. Somebody sent me this Jeter. I think it was also Chris Weaver sent me this, but it was not the Electric Diamond. So this is 94 per deck, second year Jeter, and it is the Electric Diamond variant. So that's a nice one to have. Did not have this one. There's actually two on here, so we have the regular one and the Electric Diamond. Really awesome stuff. Thank you very much for that, Joe. Love that. And it looks like we have a PSA card next. And it's a 91 Tops traded, and it's a Giambi rookie card. A Gem Mint 9. Very nice. Thank you very much, Joe. That is awesome. I don't have many PSA cards, especially rookies. And um, that's a nice one to have, a Giambi Mint 9. 91 Tops traded. Love that. Thanks so much, Joe. Really awesome package you put together here, man. I will definitely get you something sent out on Monday. Really good rookies, Hall of Famers, all kinds of good stuff in that one. Um, next up, we are going to do... Uh, we'll finish this one off. This is from Chris Weaver. I think he's still in here. Chris Weaver is still here. He said, awesome card you sent in, Joe. Yes, indeed. Joe's a great dude. No doubt about it. Um, Chris Weaver... Um, long time friend of the channel since we started, I believe. Um, number one Patreon patron. Always buys in the breaks. Always in the breaks. Um, the live streams. Wishing everyone best of luck and everything else. Is all around rad dude. Check out and see what Chris sent us. Uh, there's a note in here. We'll check that out first. And Chris says, hey, John, I hope all is well with you. The 90 Leaf Sosa you pulled last week brought back memories of the 1998 season. 
That's awesome. Yeah, definitely, man. He got, Chris Weaver got two uh, 1990 Leaf Sosa rookies out of his uh, out of the recent break. It was awesome. I've sent you two items that will bring back more memories of that season. The other two items I sent I know you will not care for very much, but I know you will be a good sport about them. Keep up the great job you do of keeping the past alive. Take care, Chris Weaver. I think we're in for a treat here. I know you will not care for very much. Could it be Chris Sabo related? John Hudek, Greg Swindell, the other ones that haunt us on, the, on this channel. I'm going to try to rip through these last ones relatively quickly so if Eric uh, can do his live stream. He probably already started, but I don't want to hold him up. Jeff Drew says, just found a small plushy stay pup at a flea market for nine bucks. Um, depends on what kind of stay pup it is. If it's a stay pup from the 80s, the one that Kenner made, then probably if it's not covered in dirt, but more than likely it's probably one of the weird um, newer versions of stay pup that in nine bucks probably not really my brother's still in here he says take your time still making the kahoot okay cool okay so we have a sosa um well this is pretty awesome sosa mcguire september 8th 1998 home run history uh not sure what these are never seen these before they're made, they're made by pacific i'll have to check these out though without damaging the box here that was a really legendary season that I don't think I'll ever forget. The home run chase there was intense. Very intense. Check out what these are. Some sort of commemorative cards from that season. They're being tricky to open though. I don't want to like damage these at all. They're not taped. I don't want to rip the box either, but might have to. There we go. So these are all McGuire and um, Sosa cards then. Made by Pacific, so it's an entire set. Um, 62 cards, I believe. Not sure if you ever looked through these or not, uh, Chris. These are pretty sick. I'm sure most of you guys remember this season, 1998, and the home run chase. It was pretty intense. Was crazy. Home run 68, home run 58. Wow, these are awesome, man. Never even seen these. What a crazy, crazy season. 18 stolen bases for Sosa, 61, 62 for McGuire. So it goes through all of these. Yeah, I wasn't sure if you had one in your collection already, Chris. Looks like we have some die cut cards in here. A Rivkin card, that's really cool too. Yeah, these are awesome. This is 38th home run. Chris Bolton says Ripken in the chase saved baseball after the strike and everything else, and people um, really lost hope. I can agree with that for sure. These were all flipped around different ways. I'm just glad that there's no paper loss because definitely have that like UV coating on them. Chris says this is a QVC exclusive set. That's pretty awesome, man. Yeah, I was going to say, I've been to a lot of flea markets, a lot of antique malls. Never have seen something like this before. Home run history tied at 62. Yeah, this is definitely bringing back some memories, man. Of that race. That was wild. So really cool stuff here. In that first uh, package from you, Chris. Sosa McGuire home run chase, 98. Thank you, Chad. Appreciate it. Put those back in the box. And what else do we have here? Something else. Um, McGuire 24 karat gold signature, 62nd home run. Whoa, this is pretty sick. Check this out real quick. 24 karat gold. 
Wow, this is sick, man. 9898. 62 homers. It goes through and gives you a date of every single one of them and the exact distance and what uh, what team they played. That is really awesome, Chris. Thanks so much, man. Authentic uh, piece there and also a little stand to put it on and display it. I guess it goes the other way. Really sick, man. Thank you so much for that, Chris Weaver. Definitely display that on the mantle. like that one a lot, man. Never seen that before either. Not sure you came across those that, but those are some pretty obscure pieces there. That set, and then also this, pretty sick. And we have one more thing left from Chris. And <laughs> it is, it is a John Hudak auto. Oh no! And look who is behind him. And it looks like it's a, it's a Chris Sabo autograph. So back to back autos, Sabo and Hudak. The two bad omens of the channel have surfaced again <laughs> in the form of autos. And this is a 9 out of 42 numbered. I wasn't sure if that was you that you and you got this out of one of Eric's breaks, Chris. I know I know he pulled that Sabo auto for somebody out of the, the Topps uh, retired with the Topps retired uh, signature series. It was really cool. And Chris Sabo's glasses in here and he says, no way, what a package. <laughs> Super says, frame those cards. <laughs> these are pretty awesome. I thought they're gonna be regular Chris Sabo, John Hudek common cards. These are actually autos. Gotta put those in the background of this video. Bring us some good luck. Thank you so much for everything, Chris. That was an awesome package, man. Really enjoyed those uh, those autos too. Those are great, man. Did not expect those at all whatsoever. Yeah, these the, the that Hudek card is real sick. I like that series a lot too. I have a uh, Paul Canerco. Auto in the same series like that. It's really cool. Chris Bolton says, like the Sabo and Fire. Really cool stuff. Love those. To check out the rest of that set later, too. Next package we have is from Chad Hawkins, another friend of the channel. Chad's an awesome guy. And it's a $10 super chat from Jonathan H. It's his last giveaway the vid sponsorship. Thank you so much, Jonathan H., for the $10 super chat. Really appreciate that. Hopefully everyone's subbed up to you by now. I know there's some new uh, some new viewers in here, so please go and check out his channel. Click on that super chat, give him a sub. If you want to see some uh, more awesome baseball content, we're getting the Kahoot game ready here. Before we do Chad Hawkins' package, I think Chad's still in here. So get your PCs ready. We are about to begin here. Yeah, Jonathan H is awesome. That's like uh, his, I think, fourth super chat for the night. So, thank you very much for the generosity. That's awesome of you. Um, the next card we're gonna give away, actually, we'll give away. What did we just say we're gonna give away? Um, Michael Jordan, actually. We'll give away a Michael Jordan rookie card that uh, we just received here. So, so you guys that never got to obtain that card when you're younger, now is your chance. As long as you can handle a little 80s and 90s pop culture. Chad is still here. Okay, so. The next Kahoot is 435-835. Robert P. just subbed to Jonathan H. Thank you very much for that, Robert P. Please, everyone else, go do the same. You will not be disappointed. about five people in here now for the Michael Jordan rookie card 94 per deck Colin says I have that Jordan what's it worth nowadays two bucks um, book value on it is eight bucks if you go by Beckett people still pay at least five or more for it on eBay though for it raw so worst case scenario you're getting a five dollar car but it's a pretty iconic car from the 90s Colin Kelsey says I'm rich yeah, any cards from the 90s, unless you have an autograph or an elite card, for the most part, your cards aren't really worth anything. But not the reason why I always collect. Joseph C.C. has got an 86 Fleur Jordan to give away. I could, uh, I could draw one up for you, if you like. All right, we got 21 people in here. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Michael Jordan rookie card. Can be in your hands if you get this one right in 20 seconds. 
And you might, you guys might have a hard time with this one. It's kind of tough. What foreign company produced the original MacGyver action figure in 1980s? And there it is. Looks nothing like him. Hasbro, Glasslight, Joxa, or Playmates. What foreign toy company produced the original MacGyver action figure in the 80s? The answer is Glasslight. Trent Warren, you got it. Trent Warren got it. Donald Trump is in second, and 357 MAGA is in third. And the Supper, or Super, and Joe Mansman uh, in fourth and fifth. Thank you so much for playing, you guys. And congrats to Trent Warren. Michael Jordan rookie card is yours. And not a lot of people heard, heard of Glasslight. I thought that wouldn't be too hard, actually, for some people, just because the word foreign is in there, and uh, Playmates and Kenner were not foreign companies. Was it, I have Kenner in there? I can't remember. Chris Weaver says, good job, Trent Warren. Congrats. Yes, indeed. Please send me an email, Trent Warren, and I'll get the MJ rookie sent out to you on Monday. So back to what we're doing. And thank you again, Jonathan H., for making that um, giveaway possible. Chad Hawkins. Here's his... FMF package. Be kind of careful here. It feels like it's kind of packed tight. I don't want to damage anything. <laughs> Joe Kohout says I'm batting like Jordan on <laughs> tonight. 0 for 3. And it looks like there is... Quite a few things in here. And we have a note as well. A um, couple notes, it looks like. We'll read this one first. It's on top. Chad Hopkins. Also a long time friend of the channel. This thing kind of got stuck on the tape here. Says, John, you pretty much know what I like to collect like helping others find stuff too. I'm giving these two figures from what is left of my collection after the floods in Maryland a year and a half ago. They're not much, but sentimental to me. So um, time for you to have or share them with others. I thought it was the end of a lot of my life when the flood happened, but able to pull it together and move with friends to Florida. And of course, now Iowa for the summer. Thank God Eric and you came along. You're both so positive and have helped me deal with a lot, not to mention many of the cool followers you have on your channel. Keep it up, bro. Take care, Chad Hopkins. Thank you very much for that nice note, Chad. I didn't even know about the flood in Maryland. Really glad that you're all right and that uh, you're back on your feet. Thank goodness for that. And also for your support as well. I really appreciate that. I'm glad that Eric and I, um, you know, also helped you find positivity as well. And also all the awesome subscribers that are on here too. Definitely met a lot of really cool people on here since uh, I started up in uh, November, December. Looks like a Dick Tracy figure in here. Did not have this one at all. And it is Lips Manly. The Lips Manly figure. Never even seen this one, I don't think. Um, and it's also a Canadian card as well, as you see the French up there. Can't say I've ever seen the uh, Playmates Canadian version, American Canadian card there, or the Lips Manly. Um, this is pretty awesome. There's not even a back on it. I feel like these ones are somewhat rare, Chad. Can't say I've ever seen them, and there's no backing, no text, nothing on there. And we have, um, French text as well. This is really cool, man. Thank you so much for this. This is really sick. Really enjoy that one a lot. I have, um, I have one figure from this toy line. It's actually Dick Tracy himself, a figure that I had when I was younger. And I still have it in my parents' house. It's the only one I have. So really sweet uh, piece there. Thank you so much. I appreciate you donating that to my collection, Chad. It's very nice of you. And Trent Warren says, love the channel. MacGyver, that was a lucky guess. Thanks for the prizes and the hours of entertainment. <laughs> well, you did good, man. That was a lucky guess then. And is this an Indiana Jones figure in here? Kind of looks like it. Definitely not a toy line and you get into collecting is the older Kenner Indiana Jones stuff. I don't have any of those. I've always been a huge uh, Indiana Jones fan. 
This is one I do not recognize. It looks like a Bendham's figure um, from the late 80s, early 90s. 97. Um, Disney. Disney figure. Have never seen this one. Uh, looks like a two-door super chat from Austin Farmer. It says, just to support the channel, no subs needed, thanks. Well, thank you, Austin Farmer. Didn't even see you pop in here. Really appreciate that two-door super chat. Thanks for joining us tonight. Um, in the midst of all this awesomeness going down, um, not sure what figure this is, uh, Chad Hopkins. He looks familiar to me, but I can't put my finger on it. It's a Disney figure. It's a Bendham's figure from 97. But still really cool nonetheless. Danny and Grace says, I love to receive stuff like this. My son would love it. And Joseph C. says, that I figure of the dad from the Christmas story. I'm not sure what that's from, but um, hopefully Chad can tell us here. Roger Rabbit. So this is he's from Roger Rabbit. Really cool stuff, man. Really cool stuff. Thank you so much for donating this to the channel, man. I really appreciate that. I uh, love getting action figures. Eddie Valiant figure. Really cool, man. And I'm guessing it's a Bendham's one. I've had a few of these in the past, but never had this guy. Never even seen this one. So really sweet stuff. Um, love it, man. Really love it. And we have another note here from Chad. That says, you may want to open last, John. This is not as cool as last week's gift from Brittany, but I know you wanted this for a long time. So I got not just one, but I managed to find three different years. Enjoy, buddy. Thanks for being you, Chad H. I have no idea what this could be. Let's check it out here. Joseph sees this wonder if they made a Jessica Rabbit. <laughs> Whoa, sweet. It's a Kenner Action Toy Guide from 91. I bet you real Ghostbusters are in here along with a bunch of other ones, and they definitely are. They're right on the front. Probably the Ecto Glow line. This is sweet, man. There's a couple in here. Whoa, 1990 and also 89. These are sick, man. The Kenner Toy Guides. Original Batman line from 89. Sure, you guys probably remember those. I used to love those figures. We were actually just talking about those last night in the uh, Wish Book video. Chris Sabo's glasses, those are awesome. The old Bat Cave definitely had one of those too. They made like three different uh, variants of those for different uh, Batman series, and they're all pretty much identical. Cody says, Love the artwork and photos, and the old starting laps as well. So, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, that just came out in 91. These are sick, man. He's my phone's like starting to spaz out here. Okay, I think we're good. Cody says, do I collect anything Scooby-Doo related? Um, I used to love Scooby-Doo when I was a kid, but I have not, uh, never really come across anything like that from the older times. And, hey, Mickey, Boom Slag's in here. Checking in from South Carolina. A lot of rain last week and flea market has been slow. That sucks. We've, uh, we've been pretty lucky here, but um, hopefully this weekend clears up for you. But these are really sick, Chad. Love these. Swamp Thing, another toy line that I used to love that um, I have yet to start collecting up again. So the Swamp Thing cartoon only lasted for six episodes, but they really went with the toy line. Kenner also made that. This is all uh, all Kenner products. And also a starting lineup here. So we have 91, um, National American League. You see Griffey right there. And also the NFL as well, Jim Montana. Repurpose Return of the Jedi play sets. Yeah, for sure. The Ewok Village is the exact same thing as Sherwood Forest. <laughs> it's literally the exact same thing. Just recycled. And Beetlejuice, of course. Some headliners from starting lineups. A lot of Beetlejuice fans out there. And Bill and Ted, of course. New movies coming out, I think, next year, I want to say. More Bill and Ted figures. Those are kind of valuable now if you can find them. And, of course, real Ghostbusters. Gotta love those. Slime Heroes. I don't have any of that uh, that series at all. Yeah, I need to get those. I have all the power pack. Need a few more Super Fright features. And, of course, the accessories. Ecto-1, I do have that in the box. A couple of these I need to pick up, though. The Ecto headphones are super rare. Really hard to find. Ghost Naver is really hard to find in the box. Love this stuff. Love it. The Ghost Trap, of course. The Ecto Blaster. I actually got that for free in the box. Some guy tried to rip me off at a flea market and I ended up ripping him off. It was awesome. 
and I'm getting a free Ecto uh, blaster out of it, which is sick. Ghost Grab Meter, Ecto Charger Pack. Love these. 1991. Surprise, Ecto Glow is on in there. Must have been 92 that uh, those were in. Sport Car Collector says, that's cool. Hey, John, do you like Life Magazine? I got the Michael Jackson Moonwalk one. And then 1989, Philip Morris with Mickey Mail on the cover. That's pretty sick, man. And Justin B says, I remember the I had the Ford Apache Lincoln Logs that I'm pretty sure that I had that one as well. And then Jen Mantle says, I liked your 91 Bone Break. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. A lot of people didn't really care for that, uh, that 91 Bone Break. So I said I wasn't going to have guests on any more than, like, maybe Eric. I mean, obviously, Eric's welcome on here whenever he wants, and also Brittany. But um, in the future, won't have guests on anymore. This next one, love going over stuff. So we have Batman again. We'll see if we have any newer um, toys in here. Really sick stuff, Chad. Thanks for thinking of me, man, and sending these to me. I love stuff like this, um, representing old toy lines. So we have a lot of starting a lot of things like that here. I'm going to try to move this along a little quicker because I know Eric is trying to stream or is streaming right now. And I want to go jump in there as well. So all the same RGB figures, actually some newer ones here, Fierce and Flush. And these are actually pretty valuable now. The Goblin Goblins ones are pretty expensive. The Ecto Bomb, that was the very last um, toy that they ever made for real Ghostbusters in 92. I picked that up at a toy show for like, like 60 or 80 bucks. They sell for like 120 now. But very cool stuff. And the last one here is from 89, so going way back to 89. That hits close to after last night's video. Haunted Humans, you guys have seen those in a video I did a long time ago. One of my first videos was covering that toy line and Fright Features. I don't think I ever did a video on those guys. And um, some other different accessories here from RGB. The firehouse, of course. Love the Firehouse. More RoboCop. Building Blasters, which I don't really remember building Blasters at all. I'm sure some of you guys do. Or Megaforce. Joseph Cease's Mailman Haunted Human. I actually have him right behind me right now. The Mail Fraud uh, figure. Always liked Mail Fraud. And Tombstone Tackle, of course, was another iconic one. Police Academy, too. Another cool Kenner uh, toy line. Definitely had a bunch of these when I was younger. Um, I had like I think I had two of that figure. I still do. My dog like chewed into him. There's like three huge uh, bite marks in this chest from my old dog. And of course, I love this place that so much. The Police Academy headquarters. I have one loose from when I was a kid, and I have one in the box. I think I want to say I paid a hundred bucks for a new in box one without the decal, the decals, and everything else aren't even applied on it. Which a uh, hundred bucks for that is a really good deal. So they usually go for like three hundred. Know the box was sealed. Got it at a Comic Con a while ago. So it's pretty stoked on that. But really awesome stuff, Chad. Thank you so much. Really uh, curious about this Lips Manly. Like that's an awesome figure. The um, French American card there, and also this um, Roger Rabbit figure as well too. I'm definitely put this on display. But thanks so much, Chad. I really appreciate you, all your support, and everything you've done for the channel. I will send you a package out on Monday, and I'll make sure that I throw in some trolley cards for you as well. We have two packages left here. I'm going to try to speed these up. Uh, next up, we're going to do Joe Baumgarten. He is a relatively new sub to the channel. You guys might recognize him. Let me fix this. Joe, <laughs> shut his address. I'm sorry, Joe. I'm sorry, man. Joe Baumgarten. Oh, I knew it was going to happen. That's why I don't like doing fan mail live. Please don't go to his house and attack him. And here's a two dollar super chat from Chad Hopkins after he opened his package. It says, "I knew you would love it, John. Enjoy. I definitely do love it, man. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you sending me those, um, especially since they have sentimental value to you. Thank you so much. And right after that is a ten dollar super chat from Bill Slides. It says, "Hey, John, what's your plan for the weekend? Thank you so much, Bill. Another ten dollar super chat. Bill always uh, gives us ten bucks when he comes in here, and always very pleasant. Definitely a close friend of the channel. Awesome guy." Um, my plan for the weekend is, I think tomorrow Eric and I found a garage sale that's advertising a bunch of sports merchandise, baseball cards from the 60s on. Um, it starts at 8 a.m., so we're going to try to go hit that up. And then um, also probably hit up another flea market on the way back. And then Sunday, I think we're going out to a couple two on Father's Day. So, Joe Baumgarten, you are in time for the package. But before we do your package, we're going to do a giveaway since... Chad Hawkins and um, Bill Seitz came in and gave us the Super Chats here. The next one we're going to do, these are kind of cool. Somebody sent me these a little while ago. 
And um, they sent me the whole set. They sent me a few doubles as well, too. I never saw these until recently. These are 2010 Topps Chrome uh, Target exclusive refractor cards. So, Steven Strasburg, Starlin Castro, and Jason Hayward. Um, these are pretty awesome cards. I think the book value on these for the, uh, all three of them is like 12 bucks. So, there's five cards in this set. The Mantle and the Robinson are the other ones that are in here. But we're going to give away all three of these cards for the next giveaway. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate your super chats. Um, those are the prizes there. The prize, I should say. For the next quiz, I don't even know what the questions are because I did these a little while back. But we're going to find out together, I guess. My laptop stops being crap. Can't wait to actually get the new one set up. Um, it's going to be like lightning speed compared to this one. All right. So, um, next quiz up here for the three refractor cards. Paul says, how many packages left? Yeah, we just have two. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to fly through these. I know you guys want to go to Eric's stream. I don't blame you. I'm going to go over there too. So, I want to hold you up all night. But I do appreciate you guys being here with me. Um, 338292. The Probably one of the final Kahoot quizzes. We might have one more after this um, later on, but we'll try to get through the next package just quickly here. I'm not trying to hold everyone up and ruin your Friday night hanging out with me. So, 338-292. And let's give away these three refractors. I can't remember who sent me these. Um, it was a few weeks ago. But whoever it was, if you're in here, thank you for those. Appreciate it. Um, they sent me this set as well, too. So, and those were extras. I think it was Dominic Rocco, I want to say, but I'm not entirely positive. 16 people in here. Seventeen. Three five seven Maga says Micah sent them. <laughs> I haven't seen Mike in a while in here. Seventeen people, let's get started. Let's full screen it. Oh, this is one I made tonight. 1989 movie, Field of Dreams. What message does Ray receive while at Fenway Park with Terrence Mann, a.k.a. James Earl Jones? Is it ease his pain? Is it if you build it, he will come? Is it go the distance? Or is it if you build it, they will come? When they're sitting at Fenway Park with Terrence Mann, what does is, what is Ray Kinsella hear? And then the scoreboard flashes. And directs him to Moonlight Graham. The answer is go the distance. Trent Warren, you want it. Go the distance. Justin S, you're in second. And A-Rod cheated, you're in third. You win the 2010 Target Refractor cards. Thank you for participating. Love Field of Dreams. That was actually a 1989 movie we didn't mention last night. We saw it in the Witch Book. JMO Jackhammer says, I really hate Kahoot. I can never sign in. Yeah, I'm not sure why, man. That's really the best way I found for it to be fair. Um, Eric actually showed me that way. So before I was doing guess the card, and it sucked because of the like five second lag. So whoever I saw on my screen first won it, but then you go back and watch the replay, and it's somebody else. So too much like frustration on there, but it makes it you know easiest way to do it. I think it makes it fun too. Joe C says, "How about some Sandlot questions?" Yeah, you might see those here pretty soon. But Joseph Baumgartner. Baumgarten. Um, this package is from him. Sorry, we got sidetracked there. I know you're in here now. Like I said, he's a relatively new subscriber to the channel. CME says, we have a new baby. These videos are keeping us awake and sane. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Well, congratulations. I'm sure that can be a handful. I don't have any kids. I don't really plan on it. I think I have enough... Uh, Nieces and nephews. I don't really need any kids. Did a good job wrapping this up. It's a big box here. I'm gonna pull this off the screen. It'll be easier to open. The Sandlot was definitely an awesome movie. Never watched uh, the sequel to it. Never really wanted to. Now we can. I don't have to hide that address anymore. I kind of gave it away there, Joe. 
it before he popped in the screen, so I apologize for that. Paul said, just watch Sandlot 1 and 2 today. I'm sure you guys like getting those uh, Sandlot autos then. The inserts out of newer tops packs. I don't have any of those yet. CME says, this is our third baby, but we have 23 nieces and nephews. Holy crap, man. That's awesome. Well, like I said, congrats. I'm sure you needed some time to yourself. Glad I can provide you with that. So let's see what Joseph sent us here. We have a note. Fawn says, I have nieces and nephews in four countries on three continents. That's pretty wild, man. <laughs> Joseph sees his Johnny's son, Chris Ava Jabs. <laughs> That's hilarious. This is, okay, so the note says, Hey, John, hope all is well. This is my second Family Friday Fraud entry. And I hope you enjoy the items included. Last time, uh, Joseph actually sent us the entire... I have sitting next to me. I'm using the card now to cover the addresses, but uh, the whole Cryptozoic Ghostbusters set from 2017. I believe it was 2017. Maybe it's 2014. I can't remember. I hope you enjoy the items I included. I picked up two boxes of Donruss Optics, so I included some of, the, of the, the best duplicates I received, as well as some late 80s, 70s and 80s Hall of Fame star cards like Reggie Raleigh and Goose Gossage. That is awesome. I heard you mention in one of the videos you didn't have many relics, so I included a few as well. I never see you in Eric Stadium videos. Do you go to many games? How many stadiums have you been to? I've been to 32, 32 stadiums, including five that are closed now. I'm from New York, so I'm a diehard Yankee fan. And the two Yankee stadiums will always be my favorite, but PNC is cool too. I've been there a few times, including last year. If you have any Glaber Torres or Aaron Judge, my two favorite current Yankees, they would be appreciated as well as any junk wax era packs. I'm especially looking for 92 Fleer and 89 Bowman. I missed your break, but any year's packs would be awesome. Give the amazing videos. By the way, I finally got around to checking out the new all-female Ghostbusters films. I turned it off halfway through. Thumbs down, way down. Best wishes, Joe. Thank you very much for that awesome note, Joe. I really appreciate that. Um, I definitely do have some Glaber Taurus and Aaron Judge cards. I can, uh, I think I do, at least, um, dig out for you and send your way. As far as 89 Bowman, I don't have any of those packs. I did see some at the flea market today, and um, I passed on because they looked like they were searched. And the corners were all busted up, so... Um, I do have some Junk Wax Era packs to send you as well. And the Female Ghostbusters reboot is absolute trash. I didn't even have to watch it to uh, really um, establish that. I won't watch it. If, it. if they put it on Netflix eventually, maybe I will subject myself to that. But uh, I've hated that movie um, from the start. This one says open first. Never supported it. I'm kind of not really on board for the new Ghostbusters movie next year. I've heard they're bringing back the original cast as of recently. I saw um, Annie Potts just signed on. And some others as well, but um, too worried about it because recent, what was it, Ghostbusters Fan Fest, Jason uh, said that he got the idea for the new Ghostbusters film. He envisioned like a 12 year old girl to proton pack. And I was like, come on, man. We don't want to see kids with proton packs. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see like extreme Ghostbusters, like bring the original cast back, make the third movie, and I don't know, make the end tie into rebooting the whole. Um, franchise or something don't make the whole movie about it i don't want to see that but that's my take on it i'm a diehard fan so i'm stuck in my ways forever we're off the bat here we have a hallowed highlights frank thomas wins back-to-back -back al mvp awards this is a nice one 2016 tops i believe nice card there never seen that one from joe and miguel sano nice one it's a don off the great rookie card and also no cinder guard and Michael Conforto, that's a nice one. Did not have this one at all. Like that for my rookie PC. Thank you very much. And Mike Stanton, another nice one. Don't have many of these uh, Panini, uh, Panini Optic here. Like those a lot. Manny Machado, Diamond Kings. This is uh, like a pink parallel, I believe. Haven't seen, really seen any of these. And a Bryce Harper, too. Really nice cards there. Like that a lot. And another Bryce Harper, Don Russ Optic. Really cool cards. It was 2018, I believe. Um, Fawn says stoked for Ghostbusters 3, and I wasn't super into Extreme Ghostbusters. I have the whole series on my hard drive, but, um, the animation of it kind of turned me off. I've tried to go back and watch it. I started watching the first few episodes of it. It was nothing like the real Ghostbusters, and I didn't really care for that. I was just super into that whole series and how dark it was and everything else. And just overall, the animation was so awesome. Whereas Extreme Ghostbusters animation was 
more childlike, I would I, I should say. Um, but I'm definitely gonna go back and rewatch the series again. I also didn't really care for the intro song. Uh, kind of sounded like Kid Rock was like singing it or whatever, and just could not get into it. But I mean that that show premiered in '97. '97, I was like 13, so kind of moved past Ghostbusters for the most part. I think I'd finally gotten over and accepted that it was done, and then they brought back that brought that back, and it wasn't uh, Extreme Ghostbusters wasn't on that long. I think it was 65 episodes, maybe two years, two seasons, I believe, something like that. I don't know why they don't make it on DVD, but I'll shut up now. Charlie Morton and another Mike Stanton, nice one there. Chris Sale don't really have any of his cards. The font says don't replace Egon. The way they can make that work is if they CGI him into it, which I've said. Uh, just right before or right after he died, it'd still do it. Um, but I, I have a feeling that they're gonna. I mean, they already uh, casted, I think, three of the actors, and it's one kid from Stranger Things, and then I think, I don't know if it's two girls or what it was. Whatever I saw, I wasn't really that happy about, it. and I was like, this is not gonna be good. I mean, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll still try and watch it anyways. Really nice, Mike Mussina. Before they were great. Top's card here. Really like this one a lot. Um, 2015. Never even seen these before. Nice one. Hall of Fame. Mike Mussina. And a Bryce Harper. Newer Top's card here. Like that one too. Don't have too many Bryce Harper cards. It's a cool Manny Machado card here. Um, similar to 89 Top's. Or actually identical to 89 Top's. Back design here. Um, and front. Not even sure what uh, what kind of cards these are. Like Top's Mini or something like that. It's a really cool one. Another Bryce Harper. This is a really cool star pack here. Zach Wheeler, Future Stars card. Didn't have that one either. Kevin Piller. Another nice one from uh, Topps 2014. Like that one a lot. Kevin Piller rookie card. Xander Bogarts did not have any of his rookie cards either, so that's a really nice one. And I see a vintage card come up here, and it's a 1954 Bowman, I believe. Um, Ray McMillan. Really nice. Really like this one. I believe Mike Durr sent me a 54. I think this is 54, maybe 57. I can't remember. Um, very, very nice. Love getting these vintage cards, even though there's a crease in it. Still love it. This is awesome, man. Thank you so much. Roy McMillan. Definitely have heard that name before. 54 Bowman is what Joe says. That's what I thought. I think... Um, Mike sent me an Eddie Matthews 54 Bowman. Really liked that one a lot. Thank you so much for these cards. And here's a nice Reggie Jackson. Uh, this is 78 tops, I believe. Hall of Fame Reggie Jackson there. And also Goose Gossage, 81 Fleer. I know Eric pulled an 81 Fleer pack out of the 82 Fleer break the other day. That's pretty crazy. I was talking about that today. And here's a Dave Kingman, 75 tops. That's a nice one. Really nice one. Not as rookie card, but still pretty awesome regardless. Didn't have this one either. Dave Kingman. And another Goose Gossage card there. 78 tops. I want to say Eric's doing a 78 tops break here real soon. Like 78 tops cello packs, which is pretty sick. And there's old Raleigh Fingers. That's a nice one too. Love getting these older 70s cards. And there's uh, Raleigh Fingers 82 Fleer. It's a nice one. Can't beat that uh, stash. 79 tops. And 85 tops, Raleigh Fingers there. Nice Frank Thomas, newer card there. Newer Don Ross, like 2017, 2016, 2017. Mitch Anniger, my first Mitch Anniger card, so I really like that one a lot. Patrick Corbin, didn't have any of his cards either. Similar to the 83 tops design there. Mookie Betts, kind of like the 87 tops all star card. Another Mookie Betts. And a Hank Aaron, all star. 2018 tops. Never saw those before. These are really cool. Anthony Rizzo. That's a nice one. Don Russ Diamond Kings. And an Eric Hosmer. And it's numbered 99 out of 349. Really nice card. Yeah, I've never seen most of these newer cards. These are really nice, man. 2017 Don Russ. Really sick. Thank you so much, Joe. And there's a Hunter uh, Renfro rookie card, I believe. And it's 2017 Don, uh, pretty neat on Russ as well. like that one a lot. Never seen those. Really cool. Gary Sanchez rookie card. Another one I didn't have. 
Carlos Correa Future Stars Gold Cup card, another nice one. And Kyle Schwarber, another one I didn't have either. That's a nice one, Nolan Ryan. Hallowed highlights. And also Robin Yount. So some really awesome cards in there, Joe. Thank you so much for those, man. I really appreciate that. Some really cool rookies, too, for my uh, rookie card PC. Might have to do a video on those sometime soon, my um, newer rookies. So this is open, open second here. Try to get through these so we can get to Eric's fan mail video. And more cards in here. A Matt Duffy Auto. Scouting report right off the bat here. Really awesome. Have not seen these before either. It looks like it's newer tops. 2018, I believe. 2017. But really like the design of that card too. And the contrast, the colors. Really cool looking. Matt Duffy. Kind of has a weird autograph there. He wrote Matthews. Paul says, I have yours and Eric's live stream on side by side. That's awesome, man. Thanks for the support. Here's a Corey Seager patch relic. That's a nice one. Really like that a lot. The Jackie Robinson commemorative patch. I actually had one of those sitting right next to me. Yeah. Somebody sent me this a while back, too. Craig Kimbrell. Really like those two a lot. Those look awesome. Thank you very much for that, Joseph. And we have some more relics. I guess I'll go through them this way. Prince Fielder. Whoa, this is really cool, man. What is this? This is a crazy relic. I've never seen anything like this before. Prince Fielder patch relic. And it's numbered 15 out of 99. Wow. That is a nice one. Topps laser relic from 2016 Series 1. This is freaking awesome, man. Prince Fielder. Very, very nice. JMO says that is sick. Definitely is sick. Game use patch. Can't say I've ever seen anything like that. Like uh, full of books. 2016 Topps Laser. Really cool card, man. Thank you so much. I'm not even sure how you... Uh, I guess you can put that in the top loader. Special um, water top loader. I have some, but I feel like that wouldn't fit into it. Really cool card there. And um, Bruce Rondon. Um, also a patch relic. And this is from 2015 Tops. Another nice one. like that one a lot, too. Love these relics, man. I don't have too many of them, so I appreciate that. And you'll have to uh, correct me if I'm wrong on this one, because I'll probably butcher his name, but Gavin Cicchini. Patch Relic. I can't say I've ever even heard of Gavin Cicchini. 2017 uh, Don Russ here. Patch Relic. Diamond Collection. It's a nice one. I like the colors of that card a lot. Thank you very much for that, Joseph. Gavin Giacchini, probably pronounced that wrong and butchered it, but oh well. And next up, Mac Williamson, Diamond Collection patch relic as well. Also from 2017, Panini Don Russ. Um, very cool cards, man. Very cool. Thank you so much, man. This is, I'm still just completely in awe about this one. This is, that, that one's crazy. That Prince Fielder is awesome. Really like that one a lot. And then we have one more left um, from Joseph. Hey, Jay Lucas, welcome to the stream. And this says supplies and cards. So a couple more in here. And I saw somebody say that they like Mitch Hanniger. Well, there's another one. And it's a Future Stars card there. Really nice. And then Raphael Devers' rookie card. Didn't have either one of these either. So really cool. Really cool. Like these a lot. Very nice cards. Really appreciate that, Joe. And then also, of course, we have some penny sleeves. And Chris Weaver says... Awesome stuff you sent, Joseph. No doubt about it. Can't thank you enough, and I will definitely see what I can do about getting a package out to you on Monday, see if I can uh, find some stuff for you over the next two days and uh, get that stuff out your way, man. Thanks again for all your support and for sending in the fan mail, dude. Um, really cool stuff you put together. Um, can't thank you enough, man. Joseph Baumgarten. We have one package left, and this is from Dan Schultz. And I have not seen Dan in here yet. Actually, I saw him in here earlier, but I haven't seen him in a while is what I meant. Joe says, trying to support the channel, help it grow. Well, I really appreciate that, man. Really appreciate it. Um, can't thank all of you guys enough for supporting this channel. Um, I hope to provide you all with some cooler videos down the road. And get creative a little bit here and there. Maybe bring the mailman back. Do some more skits. 
Paul says Dan always comes through a big time. Yeah, Dan is uh, definitely very well known for hooking everyone up with, or hooking me up with wax boxes and all kinds of cool stuff. I was worried about slicing this up, but he told me to be careful when I didn't listen to him, but um, nothing got ruined. So even non-sports magazine here with Star Wars, I have seen those before in the past. Um, really cool here. Star Wars in the front, James Bond, 40th anniversary, Men in Black 2. This is from 2002. So this is really cool too. Uh, Scooby-Doo add in the back for the actual movie. Dan is still here. And... That is really awesome. Like that a lot. Have seen those, but not those particular ones. And here's another one. And this is from 2005. And it has Frankenstein on the front. I really enjoy these. I like looking at the ads and everything else in here. Um, definitely be checking those out tonight over a bowl of cereal. So thank you so much for those, Dan. And, of course, we have some older boxes in here. Dan always sends um, awesome older boxes and all kinds of sets and everything else. And... It's just uh, astonishing, all the stuff that he sends. Some of these cards in here fell out of the top loaders. Try to put those off to the side. But, wow. Dan really hooked us up again. No joke at all. <laughs> More boxes here from Dan. Wow, man. Wow, this is very, very nice of you. Um, 93 Studio Box, which we actually had those in the break. The 20 box mixer break a while back. That set's awesome. There's a lot of cool insert cards that are in there. Uh, we pulled some of them in that break. And also, 94 Stadium Club. Another good one. I don't think I've ever broke a box of these before. Haven't even seen these in a long time. And there's a first day issue insert cards in there. But always like Stadium Club because they always had some pretty prominent uh, insert cards in them. So we're going to have to rip that at some point as well. So thank you so much for that, um, Dan. That is awesome. Really appreciate it. And there's a ton of more stuff in here. So bear with me here. Very nice. See more some Star Wars stuff in here as well. Dan sent some Star Wars stuff. I want to send his first package a while back. He sent figures, a lunchbox, all kinds of stuff. I actually have it sitting right next to me. Um, nothing else in there. Fix this. And 92, looks like 92 Pickle Rookie set, um, which we have seen this before one other time. Uh, I think Chad Hawkins might have sent this to us. Somebody did. Maybe Dan did before. I can't remember. But Eric Karras is in here. And a bunch of other rookies. Some of them didn't really pan out. Kenny Lawton's in here as well, too. And then some other guys went on to have long careers. But 92 Pinnacle Rookie Cards. Uh, really cool set there. Might have to do a giveaway on that at some point. And also the, 90, the 1987 Fleer Update set. And it's still factory seal, which is really awesome. You got Greg Max Rookie Card in here. Um, and a couple other ones as well. I want to say Matt Williams is in there. And uh, also a few other prominent ones. So that's really sick. Thank you for that, Dan. And a ton of singles here, and we have the 1990 uh, Upper Deck High Series, which is pretty cool. Don't really see this one too often at all. That's really cool. I always see the 89 Upper Deck 1 High Series, but never see this one, so that's really cool. Thank you for that, Dan. And um, let me try to get a grasp on all these singles. In the meantime, we have some Star Wars figures that I've never seen before. Um, Play School Heroes? These are pretty awesome. These are pretty awesome, man. I guess they're from all these. So we have R2-D2. And um, I'm not sure who this other one is. Oh, that's Anakin Skywalker. Okay. Wasn't sure. But it uh, looks like they made six of these total. And they're from 2012. So really cool stuff. Thank you for the figures, Dan. I really appreciate that, man. Love getting uh, toys and figures and whatnot. Um, never come across it before. So got a lot of Star Wars stuff. Really cool. Especially those. Didn't even know they made those. And a bunch of these cards fell to the top loaders here. I'm trying to salvage them. I'll put those off to the side. But we have a nice, um, really nice Lewis Gohera rookie card a parallel too. It looks like a pink or pearl parallel card, which I've never seen this one before. And that is a very nice card. Very nice card uh, for the PC. So thank you so much for that, Dan. Liked that one a lot. And a Clint Hurdle minor league card. Uh, manager minor league card. I actually just picked his rookie card up the other day. Uh, 78 tops. Or actually a few weeks ago. Um, that's a cool one that I've ne <coughs> never seen before. <coughs> Excuse me there. So 
something stuck in my throat. The Clint Hurdle Manager card, like that one. And Chipper Jones, top prospects card from 92 tops. Also a nice one, so Chipper Jones, second year card, second tops card, Will Cordero, Manny, Cord Manny Alexander, and Alex Arias. Always liked that card too. One of the best cards in 92 top set. And we have a bunch more singles to go through that Dan sent us. Somebody said this is like the glossy set here. Um, I didn't even know they made an 87 Fleer Glossy set, but I'm going to have to look into that further. This is pretty awesome. Maddox is the best card in the set. Barry Bonds is in the uh, base set. 87 Fleer in general is awesome. I always like that set a lot. And on top of the stack here, we have an autograph. And it's from Mike McGillan um, for the Nationals here. This is from 2013 uh, Tops. So that's a pretty sick autograph. A lot of autographs from you guys tonight, so really appreciate that. These are really cool. I like getting those a lot. And the Trey Beeman, remember this car when it came out, uh, 95, 96 collector choice, 95. And <clears throat> Esteban Loiza doing some uh, hard time for dealing drugs, and a lot of them. So Esteban Loiza is locked up for a very long time. And Rick Trellisek which I have not heard that name in a long time. 91 classic card there. Um, pretty nice. And also Dante Bachette, Flair Showcase. like these ones a lot. Flair Showcase from the late 90s. Kind of uh, the end of my collecting days, so I didn't really see a whole lot of these, but it's a nice card. Dante Bachette, used to always like him a lot when I was younger. And here's some more cards and top loaders over here. Um, some that fell out. Alex Bregman. Future Stars card there. It's a nice one. Didn't have that one either. 2018 Tops. Like that a lot. And of course, the Griffey second year card. 90 Fleer. Gotta like that card. Best card of the set. Um, always liked that one a lot when I was younger. There's a Chance Cisco. Um, 2018 Don Ross, I believe. Rated rookie card. It's a nice one too. Didn't have that one. Chance Cisco for the Orioles. Thank you very much, Dan, for these. Uh, all these cards and everything else, man, it's just overwhelming um, how supportive you guys are and everything else. Really appreciate it. We'll do another giveaway before we uh, end the stream tonight if you guys are interested. We'll do something else. Carlos Delgado, 94 Pinnacle. That's a nice one. Always liked Delgado. He had a solid career. And a Victor Robles um, was a Topps Gallery rookie card. It's a nice one, too. Don't have any of those cards at all, so... I really like that one from the PC, Dan. And some more 94 Pinnacle cards. Damon Buford. Looking on from the stadium there. And Troy O'Leary. Used to like that set a lot. 94 Pinnacle. I think Dan would actually send us a box of those last week. 94, 96. That we'll have to break open at some point here. And then we have uh, Louis Gilmore and Gershon, or Gerson Batista rookie combos for the New York Mets. So some more nice ones there. Like that one as well. Didn't have that card. And the dual patch relic here from Andy Pettit. Whoa, this is awesome. A player that I'm definitely familiar with from my era of collecting. Andy Pettit dual patch relic. That is awesome, man. Really like that one a lot. 2007 Elements. Really, really sick. Really sick. Thank you so much, Dan. And here's another audi aut autograph. Raphael De Paula. And this is from Leaf Draft uh, series, which I've never seen these before. These are 2014, I want to say. Another autograph. That's a nice one. Really nice cards. And one more stack left from Dan here. And then we will get out of here and hop over to Eric's stream. I know you guys, most of you probably already have. But really appreciate you sticking around with us tonight. Making the first live Female Friday enjoyable. I really like talking to all you guys. And right off the bat here, I see an Acuna Jr. rookie card. Really nice one. That's from Topps Gallery, or Topps Heritage. Um, didn't have that one either. It's a really nice one, too. So thank you for that one as well, Dan. Tons of cool stuff in here. Tons of cool stuff. Chad H says, so many flea markets, garage sales, and yard sales as well as state, estate sales and auctions. There are a ton, man. Another John Carlos Stanton card from Topps Heritage. Another nice one. Those are probably the only two that I have. And a Jose Peraza, 2016 Tops. 
rookie card. It's a nice one, too. Didn't have that one as well. And another player that I'm familiar with here, Johnny Damon. Um, never seen this kind of card before. Must be from the... Yeah, I was going to say late 90s, 1990. Um, Ionix. Never heard of those before. That's a pretty cool card, though. Johnny Damon. I like that a lot. And Lloyd says, the only place I can get older cards are the cheap repacks from Dollar Rama, and that's about a three-hour drive for me. That really stinks, man. Another auto here, Logan Morrison for the Marlins here. 2009 Bowman autograph. Very nice. And another auto, um, John Reglani, 2004 draft pick from SP, and this is numbered 426 out of 515. Not sure where you get all these autos and numbered cards from, damn it. Uh, you kill it, man. These are awesome. Really awesome. Paul says Logan Morrison was okay. And JMO says auto after auto. Yeah, it's insane. And a Tyler J, a first Bowman card here is next up. Didn't have that one either, so it's a nice one. 2016 Bowman. Really nice. And the final card here we have is Miles Miklas. And this is a Topps Heritage card, or gallery card, I mean, from... 2018, I want to say. And that's another nice one. So a ton of autos, a ton of relics, and rookie cards, and sets, and all kinds of stuff from Dan and from everyone else. Just awesome fan mail night. You guys kill it. Um, really appreciate your support. Um, can't thank you all enough. So let's do another giveaway here. It's a token of my appreciation for you guys hanging out with me, bearing with me. And the last one's left of the live stream, even though Eric's live. Um, another card that I have a few of that I want to say I might have gave us away. Actually, this is a bum corner. We're not going to give that one away. I just noticed a kind of a crap corner on there. So we will refrain from giving that away. And let me see here. I had something else next to me. Let's give away this one. Chris Weaver sent me one of these not too long ago, but I have a couple of this card already. So let's get it back to you guys. It's a nice 86 Fleer card, and it's a rookie. It's Paul O'Neill and Cal Daniels. Rookie card there from 86 Fleer. It's a $4 card book value. Paul O'Neill had a great career. Not a Hall of Famer, but still, nonetheless, great all-around ball player. So let's go ahead and do one more Kahoot for you guys. If I have one left, I think I do. Hope that I do. Dan Schultz is glad to spend some time with my card family. Well, I appreciate you spending some time with us and also your generosity, man. Uh, very, very kind of you to send all that stuff week after week. I think that's like the sixth or seventh week in a row Dan has sent us a ton of awesome stuff. It's uh, amazing. Well, you guys are all amazing. This community is amazing. And I uh, really appreciate it. And now my computer is frozen up. So wait a second here. And uh, if you guys are interested in Kahoot, we'll give away Paul O'Neill, rookie card there. 86 Fleer. If my computer allows it. I didn't realize I've been streaming for almost two hours already, so I apologize to you guys if I ruined your Friday night. <laughs> Got carried away there talking too much. And Dan S. says I have something cool for next week. Well, I'm definitely looking forward to it, man. Like I said, if you, whatever you collect, let me know, man. I'd like to send you a package out as well in return for all your generosity. I do have a giveaway for you guys. For any of you guys that are still in here, still 35 people left in here. Let's pull up the Kahoot. Paul O'Neill rookie card. Paul says, I got nothing better to do tonight. <laughs> well, thanks for choosing to stick around with us, man. Appreciate it. Let's see here. All right. You ready to join the Kahoot? 472-395. And John Kohout says, great for on Friday. John, can't wait to see what all you pick up this weekend. Thanks so much, man, for sticking around. Um... The pickups I had today were pretty awesome. Like I said, a lot of a uh, decent amount of toys and novelty stuff from the 80s and 90s. So I'm pretty stoked about it. Hoping to pull some more cards tomorrow and also get some stuff on Sunday as well. You know, it's Father's Day. People with flea markets don't really seem to care that much. So um, should be people out on Sunday too as well. So we got six people in here for the giveaway for Paul O'Neill rookie card. And we can't forget about the awesome Chris Sabo auto and John Hudak auto as well from uh, Chris Weaver. <laughs> those were a real treat, too. Real surprise. Gotta have those in the background every single video now. And John Hudak is in here. 
So seven people. Um, Paul O'Neill rookie card is coming one of your way now. If you get the question right. This is actually one I made today too. In the 90s cartoon, Bobby's World, what was Bobby's older brother's name? Was it Roger, Derek, Howard, or Ted? The 90s cartoon, Bobby's World. No one's answered it yet. There's only five seconds left. I didn't think this one was too hard. Nobody answered it. No one knew that one. It was Derek. I used to love Bobby's World. So no one answered that question. So I guess we're going to have to go to the next one. Chris Bolton says, I still have to work tonight. Good old graveyard shift. Well, hopefully it goes quick for you. Chris Weaver says, hope it goes smooth for you, Chris Bolton. Yeah, hopefully, uh, I don't know, you can pass out and wake up and it'll be over. So we'll do the next one. I'm not sure what happened to the last one. Oh, so you guys all got it wrong. <laughs> I said that no one even participated in there. All right, so the next one, 757282, Paul Neal rookie card is depending on it. So you guys answered it, and they were just wrong. I don't know why it said zero answers. It only goes by correct answers, I guess. 757282, Paul Neal rookie. Six people in here. Give another five seconds. This one might be kind of tricky too. 94 per deck. What star player do you have a chance of pulling an auto of? Is it Sandberg, Ripken, Derek Jeter, or A Rod? And 94 per deck. There's a few different autos you can pull, but um, three of these guys are not options for autos in 94 per deck. Only one of them is right. It's up to you to find out who that is. And it looks like two of you got the right answer is A-Rod. A-Rod Auto. And JMO Jackhammer, you got that one right. And John Hudak, you were in a close second. So JMO Jackhammer, congratulations. Paul O'Neill is yours. Please send me an email, and I'll send them out to you. Joe Baumgarten says these are tough questions. I apologize, man. I didn't think that they were too tough. That one might have been a little harder. But um, <laughs> I'll try to make it a little easier next time. Chris Weaver says, JMO Jackhammer, congrats. The earlier questions I thought were pretty easy in the last uh, live stream. I thought they were too easy. So I, wanted, I didn't want everyone to just guess them right like real quick. I wanted to put some thought into it. That's it for the break or the uh, fan mail Friday video, the first live one. I appreciate you guys for all the fan mail packages and for sticking around with me for two hours nearly. And congrats there on the one. And um, the weekend recap video will be on Sunday evening. Not sure if it'll be live or not, but keep an eye out for that. I'll post in the community tab if uh, it's going to be live. And I hope to see you guys all then. But until next time, uh, enjoy what. Uh, what's ahead of you for the weekend. Hopefully you guys have some good plans and go out and do some stuff. And uh, I'll see you guys Sunday night. Thanks again.